I have a simple table in front of me which is representing all the marks that are scored by various students. Now to do some basic analysis I will need to total some marks. For example, if I have to total what Abdul has scored, I will have to add these cells and perhaps store it here. So let me first create a column called total. I need to save it here. One of the ways I will be able to add all of this, I can manually add all this using a calculator and I can store it here, but the spreadsheet can do this for us, so I will not be doing it. So I click where my sum has to appear and then I click on this icon here called function wizard. So let me click on that. When I click, I get this basic dialog box in which I can choose the sum function sum so there are a lot of functions that the spreadsheet offers uh, we are not learning everything here in this case I will just be using the sum function I choose sum if sum doesn't appear in this list make sure that you have chosen all under category and then the sum function will appear so once I choose sum I can click on the next button because the sum function wants to know what should be added. Should it add these? Should it add something else? We need to tell what needs to be added. So click on next. Now it's asking what needs to be added. What are the numbers that need to be added? So over here there is a button called select. If I click on it this dialog box becomes smaller or lets me choose the cells from my spreadsheet so let me click on select the function wizard has become small and has stepped away so that I can choose what needs to be summed up so what I need summed up are these so I click on the first cell and drag the mouse button till this cell and I release it so it also takes up E2 to J2 which is E2 to J2 and then I'm back sum E2 to J2 I'm happy with that the result is 518 so I click on OK so I got 518 as the sum total of all these numbers one of the things that we need to know is that this gets affected by what is stored here. For example, if I realize that Abdul has actually not scored 54, but actually has scored 74. So the sum total has to increase by 20 if I change this. So let's see if that really happens. To change any cell, one of the ways to do it is to select the cell and use the F2 or the function 2 key on your keyboard or I could double click like that if I don't want to double click or use the function key F2 I can select the cell and click here and backspace and 7 that's the way I will be able to change it now 518 has not changed it has not become 538 because I've not hit the enter key once I press the enter key that has affected the sum total so this has calculated as the sum total of all these numbers now I need to do the same thing for all the other 11 students there is a very easy way to do this and the easiest way to do that is that I know that this is the formula if I choose this cell it doesn't say 538 it says sum of E2 to J2 which is different from if I click on this cell it says 87 here and 87 here but if I click on this it says 538 here but actually it contains the sum of all these cells now I want the same thing to be filled up here how do I do that the simplest way to do it is select this cell and move the mouse to this small square that is there at the right bottom corner of the cell and my cursor becomes something like a square 
once it becomes a square I click down and drag the mouse down till the last student and then I notice that all of these sum totals are different because this cell is calculating the sum of these numbers and we can see that by choosing this it says E3 to J3 E3 is this E3 J3 is this and if I choose the last one it is saying E13 to J13 which is E13 E13 to J J13 J13 and that's the sum that is saved here so totaling becomes easy this way now let's say I want to figure who has scored the maximum in Canada this is the column I want to know who has scored the maximum in this so what I could do is for this analysis since I do not need these two columns which is date of birth and gender first let me hide these columns so how do I hide a column I right click and I say hide columns it's not deleted remember it is just hidden I want to hide this as well let me hide this columns okay now it looks neat so let's say I'm done with sum let's say I want to know who scored the maximum in Canada how do I do it I select that click on function wizard again this time I need to choose the function called max so I scroll down choose max click next now I need to select the range maximum I need to select all of these things because it needs to give me the maximum of these numbers so let me choose maximum who is scoring the maximum of these numbers shrink it back it's telling me the result is 115 click OK so the maximum score is 115 and I can see that that's Abdul now I want to know maximum of English Hindi math science social science so let me see if I can just drag this the same way I dragged the other time the maximum score is 87 in English the maximum score is 97 in Hindi and so on so I can use that for my analysis I also want to know what's the minimum score in Kannada so that gives me the range between the minimum and the maximum and usually while teaching our aim will be to keep a very small distance between the minimum and the maximum so let's click here and then choose function X and this time instead of maximum I will choose minimum M I N click next it allows me to select so let me select what's the minimum of these numbers I'll shrink it back the minimum is 85 it's telling me that let's say okay minimum is 85 and I let me drag this so I know the minimum in various different subjects okay? so the minimum here is 43 in these cases English and Hindi so that could be concerning and that may help you see what's happening and it's two different students who are doing that so we have looked at sum and we have looked at maximum and minimum now let's look at average now the last thing we will learn here is how to figure out the average now average gives us a better picture because we will figure what the average score in each of these um, subjects are and perhaps which is the subject that they're doing best in and which is the one which they're not doing so well in so I click here function of X and this time I'm looking for <coughs> a average which is right here so I've chosen all and I click next I need to choose the range so I select the range and then shrink it back it's telling me the average is 100.5 and I click OK and I can drag this again now obviously because it's dividing it's giving me a very accurate number 
and let me I don't need numbers which are that accurate after the decimal so I want to reduce the total number of uh, digits appearing after the decimal so I'll use delete decimal place low icon to do that I want to keep it at one decimal so mostly now once I have this number which is average English score is 66.8 average Hindi score is 69.2 I can perhaps even compare across classes to see which class is doing better in Hindi and which class is doing better in English obviously I will not be able to compare 100.5 to 66.8 because perhaps this one is for 125 as the maximum score and this one is for 100 so these two are not comparable so they don't make much sense so what we have learned in this video is how to total and we did a total by using sum of we also learned how to find the maximum and we did and we learned how to do maximum we did that by using max and minimum and minimum by doing min and average by choosing average now if you know this formula or any of the other formulae like sum or max or min or average we can directly use that and we don't need to really always use the function key for example is equal to standard deviation of I can choose this it's giving me a standard deviation of 9.72 now since I knew the formula I was able to use it directly but if I don't know the formula I will end up using the function result.